Anyhow, by Kelsey Walden on 91.1 The Globe. 813, Tanner's with me. He's got your sports update coming up here in shortly. But uh, Tanner, we were just talking about first dates. Mm -hmm, yep. A lot of times on the first date, the guy pays. Yes, for typically, sure. Typically, would you say? I would say so. I mean, I feel like that's the right thing to do on the, on the first date. Mm -hmm. So Match.com comes out with a graph of the United States, and they listed for every state the average cost of a date. And so I want to know, what's the average cost when you go out on a date? Because so, you're from Indiana. Yeah, yeah. So. I've been in Indiana my whole life. Um, so I, when I think of these, I usually think, like, if it's, like, a place like maybe Applebee's or may, maybe even Buffalo Wild Wings, if you're really going for I'm going to, for the for both people, I'm going to go with, like, I'm going to go somewhere between $60, $65. I feel like that's that's about right. You're actually under by like thirty dollars. Really? Ninety six fifty four is the average cost of a date in Indiana. Ninety six fifty four. Yes, according to Matt. Wow. Yes. Which I mean, that's fine, you know, because you want to obviously treat both people to like right. a really good time. So I, mm -hmm. I totally understand. But wow, that's. I learned something new today. That's good. I was equally as shocked, but I'm thinking, well, I'm on a college student budget. That's you know what? <laughs> you that's know? a good. That's a good point. Yeah. So maybe if we were buying like seats to the Chicago Bulls game, yeah, it would be mm -hmm. up there. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. It does depend on, and I guess it, it may not just be a restaurant because you said first date, which could be anything, too. anything. Which yeah, yeah that definitely yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I hope a movie theater doesn't cost almost a hundred dollars right? for that. <laughs> that better be a good movie. You better get to meet all the actors and stuff. <laughs> yes, after. please, I would love that. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Oh, End Game. Endgame. Oh my gosh, if that were to happen. That would be happen. amazing. <laughs> my dad would enjoy that so much. Oh, I would too. I would love that. He, I think he'd pay $1,000 to meet all the I, people from Endgame. I probably would. Yeah, yeah definitely. I don't, I don't need the money for college anyway. <laughs> yeah, what's college even for? All right, well, we got your Globe Sports Report coming up next, and then more, mu more music with Justin Towns Earl on the Globe. Taking a look at your Globe Sports Report this morning, I'm Tanner Camp. Last night, the Chicago Cubs defeated the New York Mets 5-1, sweeping the Mets in a three-game series. This now puts the Cubs a game and a half behind the St. Louis Cardinals for first place in the NL Central. They are back in action again tonight. They are taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. Now we're going to switch from baseball to college football. The Michigan State Spartans open up their season tonight at home as they take on the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Michigan State currently is ranked 18th in the college football rankings. The game is set to start at 7 p.m. And don't forget, tonight, the Penn High School Kingsmen will be at home for their first time this season. They'll be taking on the Laporte Slicers. The game is set to start at 7.30 p.m. And you can tune into that game right here on 91.1 The Globe, along with everything Penn High School football. Be sure to tune into the next sports report at 8.45, p 8.45 a.m. Now over to Katie Spohr. Thanks, Tanner. I'm just going to throw right into the music. Next up is Ain't Got No Money by Justin Towns Earl, and then it's your Deep Groove vinyl feature with the band Styx. Keep it locked on the globe. Nice. Yeah, that was the good. It was that 